Hello campers, Miss Pierre here, and welcome to another great day of learning at camp. And in celebration of Superhero Week, of course, I have my buddy here, Buzz Lightyear um, of Star Command. And our lesson this week is asking and answering questions about key details. And as we know, our question words are what? Who? When? Why? What? Where? and how. And we ask these questions to help us understand what we read. And we use the text to find our answers. Asking and answering questions are important because if you're curious about something, you can learn more. If you want to predict what will happen, and if you want to make something clear. And our ultimate goal is to be able to retell the story in our own words to our family and friends. Okay, so today I have a, an activity planned for you guys just to see what you have learned. And if you know how to utilize or use who, what, where, why, and how in a sentence. So now I have six questions we're gonna to answer together. Okay, we're gonna fill in the blank. Number one, blank is going to the store, okay? Would we use who, what, where, why, or how? Okay, let's try why. See if why makes sense. Why is going to the store? Does that make sense, boys and girls? No, that's not how we speak, okay? Let's try a different one. What is going to the store? Does that make sense? Do things go to the store? No, they don't, okay? People go to stores. So, let's try who. Who is going to the store? Now, campers, does that make sense? If you're saying yes, you are correct. Who is going to the store? Number two. Blank, is she going to the store? Okay, so let's do the same thing. We're gonna try some words and see if they fit the sentence. Who is she going to the store? Does that make sense, campers? No, it doesn't make sense. What is she going to the store? Does that make sense? Almost, we would have to have something else here in order for that to make sense. Okay. How about why is she going to the store? Does that make sense? Yes. Why is she going to the store? Okay, there's another word here that can make sense. How, how is she going to the store? Okay, that one would also make sense, but when, when we're choosing, for fill in the blank, we always wanna go for the one that makes the more sense. Guess how this fit there? But in order for how to be a better choice than why, it would have to give us a little bit more information. So for this particular one, both of those make sense, but why is the better choice? Okay, number three. Blank would you like to watch on television? Where would you like to watch television? Does that one make sense? Hmm, maybe, but let's try some others. What would you like to watch on television? Does that one make sense better than where? Yes, campers. So what is our better choice here? Number four. Blank is Uncle Jay coming over. Let's try, what is Uncle Jay coming over? Does that make sense? Is that good English, boys and girls? No. How about, who is Uncle Jay coming over? No, that one doesn't really make sense either. Again, it would have to, there would have to be more words here and more information in order for who to make sense. How about, when is Uncle Jay coming over? 
Now, when is not one of our keywords, but yes, it can be used as a question word. Blink, did I put my blue pen? Let's try some words. How did I put my blue pen? Does that make sense? No, not at all. Why did I put my blue pen? Does that make sense, campers? No. How about where did I put my blue pen? That's a question I'm always asking because I love to lose my pens as well. Number six, blank old is Grace turning today. Okay, now that's a question you might ask if you go to Grace's birthday party. Blank old is Grace turning today. How about who old is Grace turning today? Doesn't sound right to me. What old is Grace turning today? No, that's not how we speak. How about how old is Grace turning today? Now that right there makes sense. Okay? Now boys and girls, again, asking and answering questions is very important when we're reading stories. And um, we always use our question words, who, when, why, what, where, and how. And asking those questions helps us understand what we read. Thanks again, boys and girls, for joining me. See you next time. Remember to always believe in yourself. Be safe, and I'll see you soon.